Custom from Justice League Swag, and today I'm going to be doing a deck profile on my only Assassin deck that I played at, uh, what is it called? Regionals. I went 5-1-1 one, one with this. I, I might have been like the first person to get a draw with this deck just because it's like the first round I uh, played a mirror match against another only Assassin deck and he just like uh, drew out the game. So round one he got it, then round two I got it, and then they get didn't give us time to play uh, round three. Uh, I played against bats, I crushed bats, I beat the other mirror match, I beat ninjas, I beat uh, what else did I play? It was oh and a Thor. Uh, the only deck I lost to was Legend World Stars, but that was my fault because I forgot, uh, well, no, I didn't know that Ambush doesn't go off, uh, from the drop zone. Ambush actually goes off on the field, so, since they were sent to the drop zone as blank cards from the soul, they didn't ambush back to the field, which sucked to learn, like, during match. But, starting off, Red Only Lady, uh, is the buddy, because, uh, you'll always play this card. Like, even if you play a size 3 on the field, more than likely, you'll put this card into the soul of a size 3, because it pops out and it gets you another ambush where you can loop for defense. I'm going to do my size 0 lineup first. I'm running 4, Lesser Fiend, Amano Jaku. Because uh, he ambushes it and lets you draw. His uh, power is pretty decent too for a size zero. Uh, I side him out uh, depending on what I'm playing against. Like uh, against something like a Thor, I side out one. Uh, then just one half fiend, Kid Yase. Uh, one because you can search almost everything in this deck. So I don't find a need to run something like this at two but I do uh side another one size ones uh here's my one of's I won one uh dust being Yagio this is for any decks that have a lot of soul or uh annoying monster that have soul so I again you can search it out so I only run one and this is just to uh equip item so if I don't have an item or I'll, I'll search out this guy and equip it. I always side out uh, the Fiend of Ailments against uh, Authoridex because of the items that I'm running. I don't need this, uh, this guy or the items when I'm playing. So, and then I side in another uh, Yagio, depending on what I'm playing against. Uh, four, Io. Ayo is staple in uh, Only Assassins. He helps you loop easily with uh, Kuraha. Then the buddy. Four. Uh, Kuraha is really good. Uh... Her ability uh, on ambush lets you get something from the drop zone and place in the uh, soul of a card on your field. This is really good because you can get back uh, Io from the drop. And then if you have another Kuraha in your hand, you can place her in the soul instead. <laughs> so then when the new Kuraha pops out of the soul and dies, you can pick something else up. Um, from the drop zone, then finally place the IO on the field. Uh, next up for size twos, I'm running four Rashomon. I actually didn't like this card uh, at first, but then after playing with it, uh, well, like Harrison pushed it on me, after playing with it a lot, I uh, bumped him up to four. Because you, he immediately gets Soul Guard, which helps you in uh, Dragon World matchups and Magic World, where they would try to bounce your uh, Onis or, the, or counter destroy them for like Darkness. Uh, he automatically gets Soul, soul Guard, so then uh, you just play Io afterward, target Rashomon, and build up his Soul. So another thing I like to do is with Convoy, I'll put Io in. Uh, Rashomon Soul. When Rashomon uh, is hit and I have to use Soul Guard, 
I'll remove the Ayo soul, then use Ayo's ability to target Rashomon and put in another soul. So it gives you an endless loop of uh, soul, soul guarding. Because you can just keep popping out Ayo's. Or another really good one is popping out, uh, what is it, Lesser Fiend in drawing. So those are usually my targets for that. I, I really don't like to put uh, Koraha, uh, Red Only Lady, in the soul of Rashomon. If I do, it's like off the top deck or something like that. But Rashomon, great card. Soul card. Yeah. Next up, threes. I run two. Uh, only a lead, lead from Kibi. Uh, only two of this guy because I only use him against size three decks. And then he also has the, uh, the on-call soul guard. But it's like from your hand. So he forces you to minus two. So usually with him... I'll put in uh, lesser fiends, size zeros, or extra spells. That sometimes I'll even put a, a copy of himself in there if I don't need multiple of them. But he's only in there to deal with like the Thor matchup. Otherwise, it's like I side him out, side him out for the other ones that just have ambush. Then, lastly, for my size three lineup, I'm running only two Kitabuki. I was running them at three originally because I only had three, but every time I played, it was just too cloggy. So I just knocked it down to two, and it was uh, better. So I ended up siding the last one. It's like too cloggy. Like, Kitabuki isn't really a card that you want to uh, draw unless you have a uh, only convoy set. Uh, two Dark Arms Soaring Blade. Only two because, again, you can search it. But this helps you control any, uh, anybody else's field. Uh, I'm only running two because a lot of other decks, uh, are destruction heavy. So, a lot of times they end up destroying them anyway. So, uh, most of the time for me, I only want to equip these, uh, by ambush. So, I'll use Fiend of Affliction skill to equip them, uh, from hand when he ambushes. Lastly, for my my items is Elite Sword Odensa. I love this card because it's 7k power and it cannot be destroyed. So this helped me out huge in my Thor matchups and my mirror matches because my opponents uh, couldn't pop my item but I can pop theirs. So I was popping like uh, against both of those decks I was popping their items constantly where they could never touch mine. And or Thor without an item it's really easy to hit with with this and I don't have to rely on this power and not my onies in order to hit them so ideally my field would look like this this can hit a Thor alone this can hit a Thor alone and then out of soul for finishing a Kitabuki will pop out a uh uh what is it sturdy only so it's like and then this can hit a, a Thor twice they might not take if they're on the good of Thor that can't be destroyed they won't take the damage but this can still hit it twice so it lets you attack a Thor basically five times in a turn so spicy tech is spicy uh I don't think I ever sided these out because it was never a time where a 7k weapon wasn't good it's also good against bats because you can hit bats without Having to link attack or anything. Uh, I think that's it for monsters and items. Uh, next is impact. I am running dark scale airy whalings at four. I was running it at uh, three, but uh, Zach told me I was stupid, so I bumped it back up to four. Uh, you always want to see this card. You can only target uh, monsters on your field with the ability, or you can uh, wipe all soul. I, yes, I am crazy. In a only mirror match, I actually used the ability to wipe all soul from all cards on the field, and then everything just went crazy for that time. <laughs> it was just like a ton of ambushes on both sides. But I just wanted to clear out his field like while I was attacking, or before I started attacking. Uh, only convoy. I mentioned before, it lets you take a card from your hand and put it into a soul of a only card on your field, and then draw a card. It's really good. I'm running at four. I usually don't like running stuff like this at four, but it's pretty good in this deck because once you draw extra copies, you can actually put them into the soul of something like Rashomon just to fill his soul guard, and then you draw a card. It's like 
you really need to see this card early. And if you're playing the mirror match, your opponent's almost always going to blow this up because they know this like fills the deck. Constant advantage. Uh, two benefit. I was running it at three. Running it uh, three was too gloggy. A lot of times I would see it and I would have size threes on the field. It's like it only works with size two or less. So I knocked it down to two because you only want to. You really want to use this when uh, your opponent's trying to punish you. Uh, with penetrate, or you're trying to kill your opponent and get off a ton of ambushes. I've done that a plenty of times. Then three, uh, uh, banquet only three banquet because this can only be cast once per turn, and all it does is get something. Well, a uh, monster from your drop zone and put it into a soul of a card, or the first skill, uh, check top three for a card and add it to hand. I think it's. Yeah, uh, yeah, monster. Okay, I never used the first skill, so I didn't even know it was just monster. So I only used this to get, uh, like, put Lesser Fiend uh, or Red Lady in the soul. Ideally Red Lady, just because she'll pop out uh, and then ambush some more. Four. Hiding only. This card is always good. Once per turn, remove a uh, soul from a card on your field. Uh, gauge one and draw two. You can also use it with Hades Fall, which I run at three. I was running it at four. It was too cloggy at. It was too cloggy at four, so I just like knocked it down to three because I want to see it, but not all the time. Ideally, I'll set two of these. You can remove the soul. Um, remove the soul from it with uh, hiding only, and plus then get an ambush off. Uh, or really good against some uh, decks like that. So I'll uh, remove the soul during their turn if they play a size 1. Destroy their size 1. Deal them 2 damage. And then uh, ambush an IO. Or something to protect myself. Shields. Uh, I only run 2 Midnight Bodyguard. I wasn't running any shields at all. But I put them back in. Because uh, if they're playing against... Uh, all of our local players that play Battle Poets, it's like I was dying too fast without them. So I, I main two Midnight Bodyguard and I side two because of uh, Battle Poets, like uh, Chris Tyree who's holding the damn camera. <laughs> Otherwise, you super die to Hero World decks. Uh, three, Snake Ace. I main three and then side one. Because uh, ideally you only need it against Bats because he's the only like super crazy triple attack deck. Then there's some other decks like uh, I think Heroines that have double attack where like Formal Frill is scary. But usually decks that have double attack aren't really scary unless they have Penetrate or Shadow Dive. So I'm just running this at 3 and then an extra one in case I need it. Uh, the best spell in the deck. Sneak attack at four. Remove a soul from a card on your field. Destroy a card on your opponent's field. Like, it's so many reasons why this card is good. Destroy your opponent's set spells, items, set impacts, anything. <laughs> they play an item, then play a monster. You sneak attack, destroy their item. It's golden. Then, four under the table. You spend a lot of gauge in this uh, game. Uh, I primarily use under the table for its first ability just to gauge two and gain a life because if I gauge two and gain a life I don't have to worry about playing shields if my opponent's attacking me. It's the same thing with benefit. Benefit gives you uh, life and gauge so you don't have to worry about the shields. Uh, last cyborg uh, the one Kitabuki I uh, usually side out uh, the item hate if my opponent's not running any items and putting in another one of these. Or if it was uh, a Thor, I'd side out, uh, I'd side out the weapon searcher for these two. And this. And then also for, uh, well, because this kills items and this kills soul. Mystery setting is the only thing that screws you with it. Uh, against the Thor, I also sided... Uh, lethal formation at three and I actually took out I took out my shields and like one snake gaze for this <laughs> because it's like against the Thor you really don't need shields you just need to kill them uh, it was pretty good uh, with secret sword dragon vanquish formation 
it's because you just want to use this card to destroy your opponent's Athor that cannot be destroyed by card effects and the one that has two soul. You want to negate the summon of that because they have to pay three gauge in order to summon it and they just lose so much. It forces them to lose a lot. Do not use this like on their regular cards unless uh, you're going to kill them. And smart prison players, like I played uh, Steven from New Jersey. He tried to bait me <laughs> a few times with this. It was just like at the side end, I was just waiting and waiting and waiting until he finally played a Thor when he was at two life. He had no choice. And then I just, yeah, killed it. Then we went to game three. Uh, one snake gaze inside, like I said, and then two midnight bodyguard just for uh penetrate matchups and what is it? Uh, item decks uh that have penetrate. So that's it for my deck profile. Hope you guys like and subscribe, and I'll try to have more deck profiles coming up fairly next set.